The content of CBC is heavily borrowed from Professor Douglas of the Ambo Task Force report, which was otherwise rejected in 2012 by stakeholders. Once a report is rejected, it is permanently dead and buried forever, unless another commission is appointed to undertake that process. And our research department is detailing reports of all those countries how CBC has failed. And we can give you South Africa. Teachers told it for six months. And because it couldn't work and they're not prepared, they boycotted teaching and reverted to uh, outcome-based curriculum pedagogy teaching which they were trained. And that's how it died. In Malaysia, a rich economy, 15 times stronger than ours, the country shifted from outcome-based curriculum to competency-based curriculum. And competency-based curriculum in the long run is very low in terms of content of knowledge. Basic education means basic. The emphasis is greatly on knowledge. Malaysia realized the damage it was doing to its citizenship and it reverted back to outcome-based curriculum. And the purported teacher training, which was undertaken by TSE, did not skill any teacher at all. So it is waste of taxpayers' money and resources. 70 billion could have employed all the required teachers of 104,000. And this is another preparation. It's a huge ripple that you have never seen. In fact, if this country is talking about corruption, don't look for corruption anywhere. Come to education. And this is where the big question lies. When the pilot was conducted between, during the wrong time, the middle of the academic circle, June to October, did we get any report? Did we really get any report? And even when it was extended last year, 2018, for what was called national piloting, yet indeed there was no activity at all. Do we have a summative evaluation report from the professional perspective of education foundation? That is a necessary step. Malaysia has reverted to outcome-based curriculum after a brief rollout of competency-based curriculum. And all those proponents who are condemning the outcome-based curriculum, basic education is basic. Mzingi, elimunzingi. You are being given knowledge. And knowledge to prepare you for both basic training. And that explains why Kenyan students have done very well everywhere. In the Ivy League universities, and nowhere in the world do you get an active media like the one you have in Kenya. Because you are equipped with the necessary knowledge. And that's why the summative evaluation was necessary to inform professionals. It is not something that is done political and impulsive. Uh, and then eight, inadequate learning facilities, poor infrastructure development and lack of trained teachers for CBC in public schools is only advantageous to private schools which are now doing lucrative business at the expense of public schools. We are almost convinced and we are yet to carry out a detailed study. Somebody might want to destroy public schools to promote chains of private schools for purposes of business. Where is Olympic primary schools at Kibera that used to top in exams? It was destroyed by promotion of private schools. The 100% transition it is meant to destroy the best secondary schools in the country. And eventually, you compare the country to shift to private education. 